faster, Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krak awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, man? No, not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step care at Slavin. as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me. Not pinch my allies. If an on crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you. Because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the Jarls just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time you crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Us. Stop your shite, Boston! Cyrus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her, she's so. so. Uh, stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Ceres, well, they're twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. He talking to the Jarls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. Last night too. Something I've always wondered. What do you witches do with this all? Try me! Slashing as our giants are like. Eh? Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Kill it. Respect, witches. Only one job. Tongues are wagging about you. Geralt the giant slayer. Ceres. Oh, heard us, didn't you? So did everyone in that room who's not completely deaf. Yalmar wastes his time arguing with me. And I really don't know why. Everyone says I've no chance against him when it comes to the crown. You're his sister. It's natural. We've always argued. But I thought something like this. I thought he'd show some respect. But he's just attacking me. Would you prefer he ignored you? Refuse to see you as a rival? Perhaps you're right. Better get back to your guests. Won't gain any votes talking to me. You're right. Till later, Geralt. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. Huh. Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the Vild Carls, and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Vild Carls? Who are they? Ah, those wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. 
You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, Wolf! Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly! Sure, eh? You fight more like a little bitch. Get out of my sight, drifter. <laughs> Not so tough without your blade, which is too bad, because you just lost it. Here, may it serve you well. Can't wait to test a witcher's blade in battle. Shade of a weak arm swinging it, eh? Like shrooms, white arts. Something I've always wondered. Where are these goblins from? Must be the one in the arms. We hear the flappers. If you said that, couldn't be the boss. We'll show you what a real place is. Now that's a decoration. Friends will show heart, foes will show heart. <laughs> Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support? son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Jarls will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Keratrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking? Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, <laughs> there is! Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, Mahakamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crepe knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, naught else interests her. Wench tried to convince me that we must honor Bran's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? <laughs> Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone. 
that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler, the kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one... Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Mm. Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! <coughs> Hold on, sir. We're pulled through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <coughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my da. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilled. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crete. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Jarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? 
Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lugas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. <laughs> Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. The gates were shut! Don't rightly know. Look to we a moment. Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. Does the gods do it? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey, before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur, a tattoo, shape of a bear paw. Old scar, looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Dragadar. Skald's played his last. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. All the horns are empty. Autrig. Shit, no more than a kid. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards... Mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. He 
here. Meat spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The Skald's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm-hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood. And something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Run, speak a rogue. Flap your gob at me again, and I'll shut it for good. Calm down. You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skelliger. Speak, Witcher. How'd all of you manage to survive? What you saying? Eh? That we're the ones schemed this up? Shut your gob. You're clucking as foolish as a gander hatching eggs. We survived because we're the best warriors in Skelliger. You're both damn fools. If not for the Witcher, none of us would be alive. Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most to gain. But we'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazea to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not heard of them having trained bears. This was Krak, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. So long. swallow the traitors. Freer, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum related in any way to berserkers? Aye, but only in the tales told to children as they were put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrum were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage, but as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Saib, I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too. 
but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udelrek needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on. We could find some clues there. Must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's at buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other? All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Come on already. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, needs gotta flow. And so does blood. Might say he got his wish. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Mahakaman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other... Right behind you. That's a relief. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the... Shit. The spirit! There's another egg behind the barrel, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. God, we might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Place of power is a secret chest. Draw from it. One rarely views more like when Yalmar and I were there. We Once bygone days. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac, let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I've no witcher senses at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. for clearer prints. Sticky from the mead. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnvald's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Look, 
grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Stand a chance. Way to see you, Bart Dot! Witch hunt. Come on, Roach. Shit, Shit he's fast. A man in need. No time to lose, then. Kill him. Huh? Are you mad? I'm on your side! Not anymore. Geralt, we need him alive. Figured as much. Help me. <laughs> what now, you piece of hell? Why did you help me? Because I want to hear why you betrayed my father, my brother, and our clan. Say it to my face! No Oncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. And I know the colors those men wore. That was the clan Twer, Sakhtartan. It's her. She's behind all this, isn't she? Yes. Bernard Braun. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander our clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The only claim onto Skellige's throne. Everyone needs to hear this. Let's get back to Kertrolda. Will you tell the Council of Jarls of the plot? I will. I was ready to die for Berner, but not like this. The thing will need to convene. Let's go. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Buna Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zara speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in? Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, 
Look at dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncrit lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. Arnvold fled Kertrolda, rode to an agreed meeting point. The warriors who awaited him there tried to kill him. What's that to do with Burner? Those men wore Clan Twerset colors. This is no proof. It is inconclusive. Anyone might have donned our tartans. Burner's right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas. Your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother. You bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! We stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family! The clan! Son Rika, I did it for you! Only for you! You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. When I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. Word long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. 
Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. A bit, aye. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a huff, actually. Our clans have been butting heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Take care, Yalmar. <laughs> Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me. What other Yarl can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, you'll take up arms for her. Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugos during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. I just might bring him around. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. <laughs> 